Welcome to this quick video on how to configure your personal developer instance to work with source control in a GitHub repository. A repository is a collection of project files associated with an application. As you work through training courses on the developer portal, you have access to ServiceNow shared GitHub repositories, or repos, and you store your work in a repo of your own. This provides several benefits to you as a learner. One is that source control allows you to save your work in line without manual update set extraction. If you lose or reset your personal developer instance, you can load your work in a new instance and continue where you left off. ServiceNow shared repos allow you to start each module with a known good set of resources. So typos, different names, or non-completion in other modules do not affect you as you progress through courses and learning plans. Solutions to many exercises are available as tags or references to a particular commit in ServiceNow shared repos. And while it's not required to build an application in ServiceNow, source control is a common development practice, so it's good to get an idea of how it works within ServiceNow and with ServiceNow. To work with source control and the ServiceNow provided repos, you first need a GitHub account. If you do not already have one, Navigate to github.com and select a username, enter your email, and create a password. If you already have a GitHub account, sign in to your account. To work with a ServiceNow shared repo from here, you need to perform three steps. First is to fork the shared repo. A fork is a personal copy of the shared repository on your account. Then you'll create an application from the forked repo. And then finally, you branch the forked repo. To fork the shared repo, get the link to the shared repo and paste it into the browser where you're logged in to GitHub. I'm going to do that right here. And this brings me to the shared repo. Now this instance of the repo is read only, so we can only look at it. What you need to do here is to click the fork button to create a personal copy of it under your account. So click the fork copy. It'll ask where you should fork, where to fork the repository. Select your account and it will copy it over. Now notice that it is now in my account, under my account. It lets you know that it's forked from ServiceNow. The next step is to create an application from this forked repo. To do this, you need the link to the repo to use in ServiceNow. This downloads the project files into ServiceNow to work with them in the developer studio. To do this, click the clone or download button. One quick last check to make sure you're in your fork. Verify that you see your username in the URL and not ServiceNow and copy that link to the clipboard. Now with the link copied, you navigate in ServiceNow to System Applications, Studio, to open up the studio. Then click Import from Source Control and paste in the URL that you just copied from GitHub. Put in your username and your password. Then click Import. select application, and then open the needed application. The open application displays in the lower left corner of the studio. The final step is to create a branch for your work. A branch is a parallel version to capture the work separate from the, the main branch or master in the source code. This allows you to work without disruption to the main code, and when your work is complete, you merge the branch with the master. So open the source control menu and choose to create branch. Give it a name. Don't need to create from tag and just choose to create the branch here. And then you can close this dialog and Studio identifies the working branch down in the lower right corner of the window. 
If branch creation fails here, you've likely used the ServiceNow shared repo, which is read-only instead of using your own repo. So be sure to fork the shared repo as detailed earlier. If you run into any other issues, see the video on troubleshooting the repo issues. If the branch creates successfully, then congratulations! You're ready to work with source control in your app creation.